Hey guys, welcome to Mudder Ducker Adventures. It's hard to believe August 13th, temperatures, temperatures 80, 90 degrees during the day. Hard to believe that you're thinking about duck hunting already, but it's time to start getting the decoys ready, the layout blinds ready, and today I'm going to show you a little bit how I get, uh, how I set up my decoys, and uh, the next video you'll have to tune into will be how I get my layout blinds ready. So I got a new layout blind we're going to get ready and I'm going to string up some decoys. We're increasing our spread. These are a little bit older ones I got used and I think they call it Texas rig or something. But how I rig them up, we use a carabiner loop. Mushroom weights. Some old decoys. I might paint some of them up this year. I'm not sure yet. But here's some of the material you need. I started using these. I got a 50 pack of 4 ounce mushroom anchor weights for decoys. Got them on eBay. $34 shipped to my house. I am also using these squeeze I don't even know what they're called but that's what they look like so when you're at the hunting store you can find them and then I really like this line PVC decoy cord it's very pliable so in the freezing cold water it doesn't get rigid and snap some of it does some of the PVC cord does get very rigid and breaks. This stuff is very, very pliable. Very good stuff. So here's the description of what I'm using. So here's how I start out. Take my PVC cord and I'm going to roll it out. I have about a six foot span in my arms. So all I do is pull it out the length from arm to arm, fingertip to fingertip. Pull out about five more inches. Cut it with the scissors. So now that I have my line to work with, it's about six foot five inches. Put one of these on. Slides in there nice. Put the anchor on. Fold it over. I don't like a big loop here. Not too big. And I don't like a lot sticking out down here on the end because otherwise this piece right here, if it's sticking out real far, it just gets all caught in the vegetation that's in the water. So. I keep this up here fairly close. If not, you can snip it off later, but just squeeze it down with the pliers. Flip it over. Squeeze the other side. You can really tell it's not going anywhere. That's what you end up with. then through the hole in the decoy, string it right through there, again, just slide that in there, this time I hold it in my fingers and I spread my fingers out just a little bit and I wrap it around two times till I meet and then I pinch the two together and wrap it around. This builds up the end where the carabiner is going to go because it's going to get a lot of wear and a lot of use right there. And then slide this piece back down. Again, I don't leave hardly anything sticking out here. And then clamp it down with your pliers. 
they're pretty easy to squeeze so I'm not sure what the material is it's made out of this is what you end up with makes a nice rigid piece for your carabiner to hook onto and the decoy weight will pull pull through so your decoy can move freely they're easy to pick up and carry so there's the dangling decoy when you're out in the water just hook it right into the carabiner. Got three on there now. Easy as that. So typically what we do is we string up 12 decoys. We put 12 on one carabiner. That way we know we're dealing with a dozen. So if we're out somewhere a lot smaller. You can grab a dozen decoys pretty easy and uh, carry them out instead of putting them in the boat. Uh, keeps them kind of organized and uh, it, it works pretty good for us. Alright guys, so that's how we put our decoys together. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to have some things coming up this season I think you'll enjoy. And get out there and have an adventure.